Hello, this time we are going to create an LED screen material. First, create a material. Next, press T on the keyboard and click to create a texture sample node. Then, set the desired texture to the texture sample node and connect it to the material base color. By changing the texture sample node to a parameter, it is possible to change it to another texture in material instance. Next, we will create a generated band node that can produce the stripes. Press and hold the keyboard 1 and click to create a constant node, set it to 1 as shown in the video, and connect it to the sharpness of the band node to eliminate the gradation of the stripes. Once again, use the constant node to set the width of the stripe, create a static bool node, and set the value to true to connect it to the band to make the stripe vertical. Next, create a text chord node, set the tiling value to about 10, and connect it to the band node. You can see that there are more stripes. Then copy two more band nodes, and previously created parameters connect to them. Next, hold down keyboard and click to create two add nodes. Next, create an append node to create coordinates and hold S and click to create two parameter nodes. Set the name and value of the parameter nodes and create the coordinates of the text chord node using the append node. And by adding the coordinates and the text chord node to each other, you can adjust the offset of the text chord node. Copy the add node and connect the nodes in the same way as before and adjust the parameter values like the video. Connect add nodes to each band node as shown in the video. Now you can see that the stripes have different offsets from each other. Next, create a parameter node and set its name and value. You can use this to adjust the intensity of the stripe color. Then press L on your keyboard and click to create three lerp nodes. Then hold three and click to create three constant three vector nodes. Set the colors to red, green, and blue on the constant three vector nodes respectively. Next, hold down M and click to create three multiply nodes. Then connect the constant three vector nodes and the parameter node to the multiply nodes you created. Then, connect each band node to the alpha pin of the lerp nodes so that the colors of the stripes can be distinguished. And as in the video, connect the R, G, and B channels of the texture with the lerp node so that each stripe receives a separate channel color. Then, as shown in the video, multiply constant three vector nodes and lerp nodes. Then we use the add nodes to merge the stripes together. Next, we use the multiply node and the parameter node to adjust the brightness of the stripes. Next, we create a time node to control the time. Then, sine nodes and cosine nodes representing the waveform are created as in the video so that a period is randomly assigned to create color irregularity. Then, use add nodes to merge sine nodes and cosine nodes together. Then, multiply the node as shown in the video so that the emissive color is irregular. Finally, increase the value of U tiling the text chord node significantly to make the stripes tighter. When finished, save and return to the content drawer. Now, in the place actor, bring the cube into the level. Set the cube to the appropriate size. Apply the material you have created so far to it.